Hey y'all, hey, what's up? Ace here for your fifth recap of the challenge. Triple X, y'all, Dirty 30. Let's go. <laughs> Got my weekend shirt on because it's the weekend. It's Friday night and I'm not doing anything except this and I'm gonna take my ass into the bed and relax. So whenever you guys see this, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. This was a great episode. Let's get right into it, shall we? Yes, we shall. The episode started off with Camilla getting as many girls naked in the pool as possible. Hey, we got one more! <laughs> While Bananas is grabbing all their clothes and towels and shit and walking away with all of it so that they have to get out naked. It's a great plan. It's a great plan. It's kind of a fucking genius. Yeah, I said it. Bananas is a genius! I feel all of you going like this right now. Like that thinking emoji. Verona's talking about feeling good finally in the challenge house. She's finally forming relationships and making friends with people, and it feels good. It feels good. You go, Veronica. We're happy to have you back, girl. Kayla's in the room sulking and sad because she misses Jenna, her best friend, and she's not friends with anybody else, so what is she supposed to do now? I don't know. Play the game? Just a thought. Back outside, Jimmy's out there talking to the girls about when she actually picked the double cross, and she looked over at Kayla. Kayla was smiling. Like, what the fuck was she smiling for? You don't need to be smiling right now because I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> that was a little aggressive, Jim. A little aggressive. Take her on a date first. You know what I'm saying? It would be really shady to snake a real life friend that saved you in the purge. Jemmy and Jenna are not real life friends. I don't feel sorry about it. I'm sure as hell not gonna apologize. I did what I did. I stand by it. Now Maria's trying to say that she wanted Camilla to go in. And Veronica's like, no, you thought that Jenna was gonna vote in Camilla if Jenna got the double cross. And that was never gonna happen. Blah, blah, who cares? Apparently it wasn't what Marie had in mind, okay? They took the idea I put out there of splitting up Kayla and Jenna very literal. Me and Jenna have a friendship outside of this and this is not the situation that I wanted. Well, ew, that's what happened, so... Oopsie! Challenge time! They show up to TJ, TJ tells them the challenge is gonna be called Man Overboard and they see this big platform right above the water that's hanging out. They have to go up against an opponent up there. They have to push their opponent off of the platform and into the water before they hit the water to win. But they're not gonna be playing. And everybody's like, what? Well, who's gonna be playing? And TJ's all, they are! Finally, a boat comes rolling up, or whatever boats do, and it's all the people who have been chilling in the redemption house, waiting and plotting their revenge against all the others. Everybody starts to freak out. Everybody is shook. Also, I think shook is the name of this season of the recaps. Ace's recaps of the challenge. Shook it. So fucking stupid. Along comes the eight people who have been eliminated so far, and that's crazy, because shit's about to get real. Stop being polite and start getting real. Then they go and kick it back to 36 six hours earlier when Jenna and Tony show up to the redemption house. Why they couldn't fucking reverse that, I don't know, but I didn't like it. Anyway, they both show up and they both can't even right now. They had no idea that they would be somewhere else. And Jenna is basically like, fuck me, because she just put a bunch of these girls in this house. Oh my god, everyone who got eliminated must be here. I know they're kind of mad at me just because I sent them home on the first challenge that we had. I Trouble. They wake up Dramanda and Latoya to find out what the fuck is happening. Dramanda's excited to see Jenna there because Jenna actually sent Dramanda into that house along with Latoya. She thinks it's karma, blah, blah, blah. That's how I feel when I think about her. I'm just like, Bleh. <laughs> Let's give this bitch a quote just for shits and giggles. You sent me in here and now you're in here with me because the house completely turned against you. Even when you thought that they were your friends. Sorry, bitch. It's the Dirty 30. No one gives a fuck about you. Hey, bitch. I give a fuck about Jenna. I give a lot of fucks about Jenna. And a lot of other people give a fuck about Jenna. You know who they don't give a fuck about? You. I think you have it confused. Bitch, bye. Then poor Tony gets all excited. He's like, oh, well, my brother should still be here. Where, where's Shane? And they're like, oh. Yeah, he's not here. He went home for hitting Simone, and Tony's like, What an idiot. Oh, that kills me. The next morning, the boys in the Redemption house are working out and getting pumped. And then Jermanda and Latoya are in the room playing with a Nerf gun with a drawn dark thing on the wall. Accurate. Jenna and Tony are having breakfast together because, well, eggs. Literally, he can't stay away from the eggs, y'all. I need Tony to, like, get a shirt that says, Excellent. 
I just need that to happen. I need it to happen. And while well, she's kind of hanging out with Tony because, well, nobody else in the house really likes her right now. They're talking over everything that happened with Derek H, who's inquiring about the situation back at the house. And Tony's just like still in his mind like, wow, I can't believe we're still here. Now we're gonna have to compete. And he's all like, this changes everything. Nothing gets past you, bro. Now TJ shows up to the redemption house, which he's now calling the revenge house, which it pretty much is. I think that we should change the name of it to that. He asks them who they're all gonna be gunning for if they get the chance to go after somebody back at the house and they go down the line and everybody kind of says something but one that really stuck out to me was this one. Corey, that little curly haired pussy is going down. Damn Devin, didn't know you could get so street. How we doing? Basically everybody in the revenge house is going after everybody who sent them in in the other house. Camilla, Jemmy, Nelson, Dario. A lot of names were thrown out there so everybody better watch out. TJ goes on to tell them that only one guy and one girl that are currently in the redemption house are going to be able to stay after this next redemption challenge that they're about to have and everybody's like back to the challenge after that weird 36 hours earlier detour that we had to take for whatever reason as they all see the people from the redemption house coming up in that boat everybody's got mixed feelings i see my boyfriend coming across this lake and i'm just like oh my god you're alive i see dead people floating across this lake it's like my sixth sense it's like a nightmare i see three of the four people that i sent home i know you're coming for me Let's get this party started. I just sent Jenna home. I made a boss move with the double cross. Did what was necessary. I'm pissed. <laughs> I just love when this shit happens. It makes me all happy inside. Drama! Dorel is giving Corey the death stare right now. I'd be fucking shaking in my shorts or whatever they're wearing. They gotta be they gotta be wearing shorts, are they? I'll know by the time I put the fucking picture right here whether they're wearing shorts or not. Let's get this damn challenge started already, huh? First they put Dorel up against Devin and I'm just like, <laughs> you can't be serious. You're serious? Okay, let's 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 watch it. But I kinda know what's gonna happen. So, sorry Devin. How we doing? If I had to bet $275,000 of Sarah's money, I would have to say that uh, my odds would be on Darrell. Devin's not gonna be able to talk his way out of this one. Just give me the money. Here, put it right in here in your banana hat and um, I promise I will do great things with it. You know me, you know me. I need it, I'm broke and I'm hot and my AC in my car is out. Whiny ass bitch, whiny ass bitch. <laughs> Oh, I don't need this on again. Stupid hat. You guys see, I got my roots done. Even though my hair is acting crazy right now, whatever. Got my roots done. And I think either my hair is getting thinner, I'm getting older. These are all things that are happening. But my ears are getting bigger because they're starting to stick out of my hair. You see that? See that? I don't like it. I don't like it. Vape break. It's a vape break. You guys won't see this because it's a vape break just for me to laugh in the middle of editing the recap because I took a vape break. A break to vape. <sighs> I entertain the shit out of myself. Anyway, not much of a fight. Devin tries to throw Darrell over himself and they both fall and then Devin hits the water first. Darrell gets to move on to the next round, sending Devin packing. How we doing? Not good. Shit. Jimmy on the sidelines and who the fuck claps like this? This was just brought to my attention on Twitter. I missed it completely, but I can't not mention it because what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Wait, let me put my shirt down. I can't even get all the way in the frame to do this correctly. Woo! Let's go! Thank you, person on Twitter who brought that to my attention because damn. <laughs> who does clap like that? One, it's really not flattering for the, un the underarm fat that you can't get rid of, you know what I mean? I'm gaining some little guns back, guys. See my little definition here? But the underarm, the underarm fat needs to go. It's, I'm working on it. I'm working on it! <sighs> I'm working on it. Now it's time for Toya and Amanda to go, and I don't care whoever is going against this girl. I just want them to win and beat her every time. And I don't think I'll ever change that. So beat Amanda, beat, beat Amanda. Y'all already know my feels on this, all right? They get going, you really can't tell what's going on. A lot of chokeholds, pushing around stuff. I'm literally just praying to all the gods. You guys hear those fucking kids? I hear the kids, I see my ear. Get over here before I get that belt. I wish I could hit those kids with a belt or a fucking hammer. <laughs> I didn't say that. Get up. Get up. 
we'll just wait. We have nothing to do, you know, let's just hang out. Wait for them to finish screaming at their kids in the front lawn. I'm literally just praying to all the gods, please, please send Amanda home. I think Camilla and I um, practice the same religion and we speak to the same gods because it's the same thing that I was doing. Hopefully they're listening. So they're going at it, going at it, going at it. They fall, they fall, they're both falling. I'm just like, oh God, I think Toy hit the water first. I think she hit the water first and she did. And I was like, oh, fuck, fuck all of us. Oh, I hate to see her win anything. Some of you would call me a hater or whatever. Everybody has a least favorite cast member. She happens to be mine. So like I said, fuck all of us, except Nelson, who's super fucking stoked. He's over there like, yeah, yeah, Amanda. And I'm like, I hate both of you. I just want both of you to get married or go on to a remote like island somewhere and never come back. Never. With Amanda, I think it's always her intention to really hurt people. She's like that annoying little fly that won't go away. And there's enough flies here in Colombia. We don't need one extra one. Come on, Camilla, let's get that bitch out of here. Oof. I actually really hit my camera there. Oopsie. Now for Tony versus Derek H. Derek looks strong at first, like he got this. Tori can barely watch this shit. They wrestle and wrestle and wrestle and wrestle and they both fall in. They're falling. Free fall. When they hit the thing, I'm pretty sure Tony won, but then we have to wait and hear about it, and yeah, he did! He did win! Tony! Good job, man! I spit on myself. I spit on myself at least, like, six times per recap. It's sexy. It's all good, but then TJ reminds them that whoever wins is going up against Darrell after this, and everybody's like, fuck. It's like winning and losing at the same time. The first thing you've done well in your life. <laughs> fucking Anissa from the sidelines, man, is hilarious. I don't even have to show her what she's saying. It's just fucking funny. Now it's time for my Brianna and Jenna to go, and you know that I'm all for Jenna in this in this shit, cause well, t Jenna, right? But Brie, you know I love you, wife. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Brianna and I got um, Twitter married. Uh, last weekend, I think it was. It was beautiful. There were retweets everywhere and emojis galore. You guys should have been there. But we couldn't invite many people because it was like spur of the moment and you know, money and you know, so we just kept it to be like friends and family and followers. So I'm sorry about that. But I wish you guys could have been there. Anyways, I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track here. Brianna, you know, she's a tough cookie. I mean, I'm sure she's gonna give it her all. But I think I'm actually just gonna charge at her and then keep her under me. Get off my wife, Jenna. <laughs> pushing and pulling and all the girls down below watching are like I'm laying on my back just watching Jenna on top of me and I'm thinking to myself wow wouldn't every guy in America want to be in my spot <laughs> girls too I mean come on don't forget all the girls of America wife I didn't mean me by the way Anyway, moving on. Jenna finally pushes her off the thing. Brianna falls and hits the water first. So that means Jenna gets to move on to the final round against Amanda. And Brianna's gotta go home. You're coming home to me. It's all good. It's all good. Kayla is stoked, to say the least. And she's not being quiet about it. She's behind everybody standing down there below like, Yeah, that's my fucking girl! That's my fucking girl! Cara Maria is even getting in on this action. She's dry! <laughs> You're stating the obvious, but that is awesome that she didn't even have to fall into the fucking water to win. I'd be stoked about that too. Fucking right, Jenna. Beast Barbie is making a comeback right now, and I am loving it. Now we say goodbye to Brie and Derek H. I'm sure we'll see you guys back on one of these at some point, and I'll see you later, wifey. I have the worst wink. Don't ever do that. I keep telling myself, <sighs> Derek, I feel like he's got a lot to prove. You know, his girlfriend's in a house with a bunch of horny hyenas. You know, it's, it's never nice losing in front of your girlfriend. <laughs> Did he say horny hyenas? Did I get that right? Because it was like he was eating something or moving shit around in his mouth when he was saying that. And <laughs> CT, get it together. I need to get these things right. What are you, chewing on pasta over there in your fucking interview thing or whatever? Like, come on, come on now. Now for the real matches to begin. First, we have Darrell versus Tony. And everybody's like, oh, Darrell's gonna take this. Tony wants to win against Darrell because he wants to prove that he can do something, okay? Something of value. Something that everybody will be like, you should be here. So, Tony's a little amped up for this one. They're going at it up there. And Tony almost falls off, but he grabs the lip 
of the platform with his foot and he's able to like swing Darrell over the thing. They both go falling into the water and I'm like, ah! This is a perfect opportunity apparently for um, someone in editing to put two pictures of Tony's kids and make it look like a memoriam, like he died. Uh, <laughs> people thought it was really cute and it was because he has cute kids, but like, Anyway, I'm not hating on it. I don't know. It made me laugh. Random as fuck, kind of adorable. Moving on. I think when they hit the water, everybody already knew that Tony won by their reactions because everybody, when he hit the water, was like, What the fuck? What? And you hear Anissa, <laughs> again, from the sidelines, like, You just totally elbowed me in my motherfucking jaw. <laughs> Who? Who did it? We want to know. Who elbows you, Anissa? Tell me. Tell me right now. I have to know these things. <laughs> so, oh my god, Tony beats Darrell. I would say everybody shook, but I've used it too much, and now I forgot what word I used to use in place of that. Everybody's shocked? Shook is the new shock. Now it's time for Jenna versus Dramanda, and I am just like, listen, Jenna, let's talk this over real quick. This is how it's gonna go down. You're gonna make this fucking happen, okay? For me, if you love me at all, maybe Camilla a little bit, but like me, if you love me whatsoever, you will send this bitch afloatin' in the water, headed home. Jenna versus Amanda. Bubbles versus Freckles. This is gonna be a, it's gonna be a fight to the finish. Take her out, fuck! I was literally laying in my bed having a panic attack over this shit. At this point, I wasn't even laying down anymore. I was up on my knees. Don't be dirty. <laughs> Biting my fucking nails, staring up at the TV on my fucking wall, like praying to the challenge gods. They go and I'm just like, Jenna, 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 Jenna! I really hope Jenna comes back into this house because I feel so guilty about her being in this situation, but... I'm worried about it because there's some serious damage control that I'm gonna have to do. Yep. Camilla and I are on the same level right now, which is out of our fucking minds. Please send this bitch home. I don't care if they both stay on this platform all day long. Jenna cannot allow Amanda to win this. I want Amanda to win because I just voted Jenna in. I don't want her back in the house. Amanda, if you win this and beat Jenna, I will buy you all the drinks the next time we go out and maybe even defend you when Camilla comes for you. <laughs> that sounds like a great deal in all gem, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I'm actually hoping and praying that that opposite actually happens. Oh, so now Jenna has her at the end of the platform and she starts slamming her feet into her and I'm freaking the fuck out right now. I will show you guys after I'm done talking about it because I have filmed it in real time of my reaction to what happened here and uh... <laughs> This is my chance. She's on the ledge. I have her in a great position and I just start kicking and kicking and kicking. And she does until she kicks that bitch right off the ledge into the water and I'm like, yeah! No, I'm literally like, kick her! Kick her! Kick! Kick! Kick harder! Kick her! Yes! <laughs> oh, it's the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Look at Camille. <laughs> And I can't get enough of Camilla and her signature now, Dramanda dance. Fuck you, you're going home, Dramanda. I love it! I'd obviously rather die than see Camilla again. I hate her fucking guts. Like, I literally hate her. Weird, that's exactly how we feel about you. Hmm. Too bad, so sad, bitch, bye! Camilla's being held up in the air right now, like... Thanks, Jenna! We love you, Jenna! Oh, this is all too great right now, really. Barbie Beast! She's back! Ladies and gentlemen, Jenna is back! I'm sure Jenny's scared right now. She's probably thinking that we're gonna target her next because Jenny's back in the house. And she's absolutely right. Because Jenna and I are able to beat Jenny at anything, so... Sucks to suck, I guess. The best part of this whole entire day is that I did not have to touch that water. And my hair's still dry, and my makeup's on my face. Still looking good! <laughs> it's the little things, Jenna. We know, we know. Back at the house, everybody is so into eating this pizza right now, like they haven't been fed in days. Nobody is really happy to have a pissed off dynamic duo back in the house. Marie takes Jenna outside. She wants to talk to her about the whole situation. She tells Jenna that she initially wanted Camilla to go in. She tells her that Kayla and her name will never come out of her mouth for the rest of this game. And Jenna's listening, but you can tell that she's got some trust issues going on with this shit right now. Now Jemmy is also backpedaling a little bit, telling Jenna she likes her as a human and all, but this is what everybody wanted to do. So she had to vote her in, because everybody wanted to do it, it wasn't just her. Jenna just feels like everybody totally blindsided her, and she's probably right. <laughs> Every time I get friends with Kayla, I think everyone's out to get us. It's so weird to have enemies, but it's making this game a lot easier for me. Rather than, oh, I'm sorry for voting you in, now I really just don't care. 
The episode ends with Kayla crying to Corey because she doesn't understand what her and Jenna have done to make everybody hate them and want to send them in every time. Everyone's always gonna be against us. Always. Well guys, that's how the episode ends. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Banana alert, banana alert, banana alert, banana alert. This week, down in the comments, leave the phrase Barbie Beast is back for your chance to win some banana swag at the end of this season through the recaps. So anyways guys, that's it for this episode. I love your guys' faces. Thank you so much for watching uh, and tweeting and all the things that you do. You guys are awesome. I love my little challenge fam. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. It's the pretty little red button. You should hit it. And you can also turn on the little bell next to it to um, let you guys know when a new video comes up. You'll be alerted. And that's really cool because sometimes it doesn't show up because YouTube's kind of fucked up nowadays. I mean, let's be honest. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. Smash it hard. Don't forget to share this recap with your friends, your family, your grandma, everybody that you watch it with. I want to give a little special shout out to uh, ML Ace and his Twitter name is 93 Ace in the Hole, which I really like because hey Ace, hey Ace. Anyways, he watches it with his mom, I think. They watch the recaps together and I think that's awesome. I really, I really think that's great. So shout out to you. Thank you for watching with your mom. I always say at the end of these, share it with your mom, your grandma, your friend, your whatever. So thanks for listening. That's awesome. I fucking love it. And I love you. So that's about it. Don't forget to tweet me at acenichols33. And until next time, you guys know the drill. It is to peace out. Oh yeah.